the seed that fell by the wayside. These are those that come to hear what is being said, but have no real interest in what in the word of God. Some are just curious. Hmm. Some are just around to try and find fault in the yes. accus the accusatory. That's right. Some are atheists. Hmm. And some decide, oh, maybe. I don't think about it and take it seriously once I've done all my pleasure in life and hmm. once I'm old. Hmm. Some fell up on a rock. These are those that have heart and hearts. And nothing can seem to penetrate it. Yes. There's very little moisture there, or mm -hmm. none at all, because it's stony and dry, lacking necessary nutrients for real substantial growth, sustaining growth. Yes. Due to pride and self-centeredness. Not wanting to give over control to God. Mm -hmm. While in church singing a lie, I surrender all. Ooh, come on now. Knowing full well, they are not surrendering <laughs> to nothing but their own will. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Some fell among thorns. Some believed, but soon lost faith after being bombarded with life's issues, concerns, and pressures. Mm. Some proclaimed to follow Christ, however, it is in lip service only. Mm. They have become servants of their riches because of all that it throws at their feet. Yes. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Mm. Their fruit withered and is rotten, and they don't even realize it. Woo. Come on now. Yes. Some fell on good ground. These are they that have a heart that is not bent toward doing evil. Mm. They welcome the word. Yes. They study it so yes. that it's deep down in their hearts. Mm. Psalms 119 and 11 says, Thy word have I hid my yes. heart that I might not sin against thee. Yes, Lord. The verse in Luke chapter 8 says, Having heard the word, they keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. They are not just hearers of the word, but doers of the word also. Mm. It says with patience, not in a rush, That's right. not hasty, That's right. so that it produces proper fruit. Yes. How many of you know that growing anything too fast does not taste good? Something that's grown too fast. That's right. It's not going to be ripe. Right. It's not going to be sweet or whatever the taste is supposed to be. It's not going to be there. Yeah. Because there was a proper amount of time for that tree to absorb all the necessary nutrients. That's right. That's right. Okay, I'm going to go to, let's go to Esther, chapter 2, verses 8 through 10. together unto Shusha, the palace, to the custody of Hegai and Esther was brought also into the king's house, mm -hmm. to the custody, custody of Hegai, keeper of the women. Mm -hmm. And the maid pleased him, and she obtained kindness of him. And he speedily gave her things for purification, which things as belongs to her and seven maidens which are meet to be given her out of the king's house. And he preferred, he preferred her maids yes. unto the best place of the house of the women. Yes. Esther had not showed her people nor her kindred, for Mordecai charged her that she should not show it. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go down and this whole uh, chapter can be read, but I'm going to leave you to read it on your own yes. for the sake of time. But I'm um, going to drop down to verses 14, 17. In the evening, 
we're talking about the favor of the Lord, obtaining the favor yes. of the Holy Spirit. Okay, in the evening, she went. And on the morrow, she returned into the second house of the women, to the custody of Sheash, Gaz, the king's chamberlain, which kept the concubines. She came in unto the king no more, except the king delighted in her, and that she were called by name. Mm. Now when the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abigail, Abihel, sorry, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, was come to go in unto the king. She required nothing but what he guy, the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women, appointed. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all of them that looked upon her. So Esther was taken unto the king, Ahasuerus, unto his house royal, in the into his house royal in the tenth month, which is the month Tibet, in the seventh year of his reign. And the king loved Esther above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor in the sight, in his sight, more than all the virgins. Yeah. So that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Ashtar. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. So we see that um, Esther obtained favor. She followed instructions, number yes. one. She did what Mordecai told her to do. To mess it up. Don't tell it. I'm talking too much. Don't tell everything. That's right. Keep that under wraps right now. Keep that under wraps until the father moves like he wants to move. Yes. Yes. So, if you're a good person with a heart that is good ground, you will be able to hear as well as follow instructions. Just yes. as we, uh, Esther, I'm sorry, did. Whether spoken to directly by the Holy Spirit or indirectly through somebody else. So it may, so that it may be that you will find favor in the sight of the Most High. Mm. Going through the necessary preparations it's not easy all of the time. I know it. I know it. For a fact, it's not easy all the time. That's right. Obedience is required. Yes. Commitment is required. Yes. Time is required. And let me say this. For some reason, I you know I have to say this. Some of you have been patiently waiting on change. Yes. Waiting on change in the promises of God. Well, it's here. Yes. It's here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's Thank here. the Lord. Pardon. Yes, there has been a major shift in the atmosphere mm. in this dimension as we know it. It's yes. been it's a shift. You hear it been here, but it's here. It's here. Thank the Lord. The doors are opening up for some. Mm. People that have a heart that has been fertile soil. Yes. Good ground. Thank the Lord. Meanwhile, on the flip side, mm. I see doors slamming shut. Woo. One after the other, mm. and some simultaneously, you know, on the enemies of God and His people. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Will you allow God to come in and break up that stony places in your heart, those prickly places, those dry places? Yes. Thank you, Father. Where it is impossible for His Word to take root and grow mm. and become something beautiful, mm. something of worth. Something that is able to produce good fruit mm. that will sustain you and others as well will benefit from that good fruit that you produce. That's right. It can be health to some. It can be strength in places of your life, in places of your life that have been weakened by the harsh elements of life. Yes. Yes. Those that are beat down by unexpected situations, trampled on and pummeled. Mm. But there's good news today. Thank you, Jesus. And that is that there is a God, uh, our Creator, that is able to step into any circumstance uh, and bring about change in your favor. That thing that seems impossible to deal with will no longer seem as a heavy burden. Mm -hmm. It'll give you a peace that's unexplainable, that is incapable of being explained. Yes. I know that in my own life. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you. 
give you that piece you can't explain Matthew 11 verses 29 and 30 says yeah. take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart that's right and you will find rest for your soul thank you Father for my yoke is easy and my burden is light Hi. this doesn't mean that there will never be problems or adversity but what it does mean is that through all of those troubles he'll be there to see and guide you through those tough times yes. while he's working on your behalf you. giving you peace and ultimately victory ah. thank you father thank you, thank you father according to his will yes according to his will but you have to repent put down those ways and habits that are not pleasing to the most high Yes. And I know it won't be easy to do that at times. Hmm. <laughs> Sometimes you know, ain't that easy. Sometimes yes. you know. But stick with it. Don't give up. Begin to seek Him through prayer. Yes. Through Lord. studying the Word. Yes, Lord. Start thanking and praising Him on a daily basis. Thank you. Thereby presenting your heart as good ground that is pliable. Yes. Cultivated. Yes. Enough to develop a relationship. You will start to produce good fruit that is required Thank for a tree Jesus. not to be cut down because it was good for nothing. Woo! All right. Through your desire for a relationship with God, you will begin to love Him. Yes. And through your loving Him, you will develop a desire for, dis for obedience and to keep His commandments and want to live a righteous life. Yes. Then shall you begin to find favor in the sight of the Almighty, the Most High. Yes. This is a short message again. I didn't. Be blessed. Lord. And now I will turn back over to the hands of the Bishop. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What a phenomenal, awesome word. Hallelujah. God is good. God is amazing. He's awesome. Yes. Obedience. Yes. The Bible says that obedience is better than sacrifice. But what I learned in my experience, that you can't obey unless you're willing to sacrifice. You got to be willing to sacrifice you, the things that you love, the things that you desire, the things that you want. Sometimes those things does not line up with the will of God. Yes. We only should want what God wants. Yes. We should only want to do what God wants us to do. It's not about us. Yes. It's all about Him. He, you have given your life to Him, meaning that you're not your own. You belong to God. Yes. And He has the right to use you in any way that he desires. Yes. Remember this, that he's a good God. Yes. And if he are going to use you, it's going to be for good things. Yes. So praise to God. Thank you again for what's a wonderful, awesome, and mighty word. God is amazing and awesome. Hallelujah. Thank you again, Pastor Retta. Let's give her another hand clap. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Listen, it's not easy standing here. Not easy coming before God's people. It takes a lot of sacrifice. It takes a lot because the enemy is fighting you. He's coming against you. He want to mess with your thoughts. He want to mess with your notes. And some of the things that you write down, some of the things you don't even get to, some of the things you forget, some of the things you skip. It's just it's a lot that goes into it. But God is in control. Yes. Amen. And as long as you allow God to talk through you. He will say what he wants to say. Yes. And they will receive what it is that they need to receive. Yes. Praise be unto God. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory yes. be God. Yes. Well, I'm going to stop standing before you for our offering. Let's get let's prepare for that. Let's be willing to give God something here out of our out of our pockets to be a blessing to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. That's a right. I'm going to ask you to just you grab the bucket there and, and we're going to pass it around and 
be a blessing as much as we possibly can. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And listen, if you are in the North Carolina area, look, reach out to the ministry. We are building, we are growing, and we're trying to make an impact here. And we know that God's going to have his way. So join us. All you have to do is simply contact us right in notes there. Just right there, just type in that you're interested, you want to come, you want to be a part, you want to be, you're interested, and we will reach back out to you, and we will get you hooked up. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. God is amazing. He's phenomenal, and he's doing wonderful and great things here. I, eyes have not seen, no ears have heard what God's getting ready to do here in this city. He's getting ready to turn this city yes. upside down. God is wonderful and amazing. Yes. Hallelujah. But we thank you once again for those that are looking to give online. Check the link down in the description and it will show you how to give, how to sow your seed into the ministry. Listen, sowing seeds is important. It's one of the things that helps the ministry grow, help God do what he wants to do in this earth. God doesn't need your money. But the ministry does. <laughs> so this is, is not me. I don't need your money. It's the ministry that does. So that we can build what God wants to build on the earth. Be part of that. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let us stand our hands. And we're going to just pray over the offering. Father God, we just thank you for all those that have given. And Lord, for all those that has nothing to give. We ask that God that you bless them as well. Touch this money. We ask that God that it would be restored back unto them a hundredfold. Lord, open up the windows of heaven and pour them on blessings they have room enough not to receive. Lord, I'm asking you, God, that they receive more for their obedience and giving unto you. We thank you, God, for what you're doing in their life. And we give your name the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't forget to like, share this message. Share, 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 share. That needs to get out. What that pastor brought out today needs to be shared to many, many people. Share it. Take the time and share it. Don't just listen to it. Share it for somebody else to see it as well. God bless you. We love you. And we'll see you next time. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.